Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Well, as you can see, we've got an Ego Select Cut mower here and a non select cut mower here. So you own an Ego mower and you don't know the difference between all of the blades that are out. Actually, if you search online, you'll find eight different blades, and that can be confusing. Which one works for your mower? And which one does what in the first place? Well, that's what we're here for today. We're going to go over that in detail. We're going to explain the different types of blades. We're going to talk about the benefits, the pros, and the cons. Plus, we're going to do a cutting demo on the select cut, doing a mulch and a high lift cut. All right. This video is mainly made to be informative, but we thought we would at least do a cut so you could see the difference between a high lift blade and the mulching blade. So let's get started. Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just want to let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. We went out and bought the products ourselves. So if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. Let's go ahead and go over the video outline so you know what to expect in today's review. So we are going to go ahead and review the Select Cut 21 inch dual blades. All right, we're going to cover all of them. We're going to cover the non Select Cut blades, right? The 20 inch and the 21 inch models. We're going to go over the differences and the benefits for each of the blades. And then we're also going to do a demonstration using the Select Cut. We're going to go ahead and cut with the mulching blade. And we're going to also use the high lift blade to show you how that works as well. All right, so let's get started. All right, so here are the blades for the non-select cut mowers, okay? We'll start off with the 20 inch and then we'll go into the 21 inch. So this is your standard mower blade on a 20 inch. It's an AB2000. And then this is your high uh, lift blade on your 20 inch. It's AB2001. Let's check out the 21 inch. Now on the 21 inch, the standard mower blade is AB2100 and the high lift blade is AB2101. So let's start off with the standard mower blade for the 20 inch and the 21 inch. Um, now, you know, what this is is really just a simple cutting blade, right? There's no mulching blade available for these mowers, and so you're going to use this to mulch your grass, all right? It is great for a daily mower that's cutting the grass often to keep the mulch size down. Pros, um, when it's sharp, it cuts well. Uh, it doesn't use much battery life, which is nice. The cons, the mulch sizes will be larger due to the design of the blade, so make sure you mow often. So here is the high lift blade for the 20 and the 21 inch. And, uh, you know, the benefits, it creates really good suction. Lifts the grass up, and this is really great because you're cutting your lawn and you're bagging with this type of blade. The use, you know, look, if you missed a few days and your lawn is overgrown, this is perfect for that, right? It can cut, you know, grass at almost any size and uh, sucks it up. It lifts it up because of the suction it creates and throws it into your bag. So it's really good. The pros, strong suction, you know, definitely lifts the grass up, bags very well. The cons definitely uses the most battery life out of both of the blades not good for mulching not good for cutting unless you're bagging okay and the grade uh, the grass blades are definitely going to be larger because this is not going to mulch for you so here are the select cut models this is the original select cut this is the select cut xp now they take the same blades, 
okay now when the XP came out they included the high lift blade in the box and at that point that was when the high lift blade launched you could use that blade on the original select cut again these all work for select cuts but let's go over at a high level what they are so here's your upper blade all right, that's your upper blade. Basically, it's a standard upper blade, but you do want it to be sharpened. You do want it to be in good condition. This is the extended runtime blade, and this is the mulching blade, which some people call a gator blade. It's aggressive. It does very well at mulching grass. We'll, go, we'll get more into that, and then this is the high lift blade. So let's get into some of the details on these blades. So let's get into the extended runtime blade. So what does this do, this blade? First of all, here's your upper blade and here is your extended runtime blade. You can get this as a set. This is AB2100D, links will be in the description. But what does this do? It balances runtime and quality. That's what it does, okay? What is it used for? If you're a daily cutter and you're cutting about a half inch or less, this is fine. Now what are the pros on this? Well, it doesn't use much battery, and it offers a pretty nice cut. Again, you have to keep it sharp, and you are not going to be cutting long blades of grass with this. Now, what's a con on this? You know, this is not going to mulch. That's your cons, right? It's not going to mulch. Your mulch sizes will be larger uh, due to the design of the blade, so make sure that you mow often, all right? So here's the blade everyone should have. This is the mulching blade. This set is AB2101D as in dog, and it'll be in the description if you want to pick it up. This, gra this blade basically cuts grass into finer, smaller pieces that is great for feeding your lawn, okay? Now the use, it's great for a weekly cutter. Someone that's cutting maybe up to two inches of grass looking to mulch, uh, and leave it on the lawn. That's what it's for. The pros, it's an aggressive blade. It cuts through thicker grass, creating smaller mulch sizes because it's pretty aggressive. The cons, it's going to use more battery, guys. It'll definitely need sharpening more often, and it will not bag well. So just be aware if you're looking to bag your grass, you're going to want to look at the next blade coming up. All right, so here's the blade that a lot of people were waiting a long time for when the first select cut came out. This is the high lift blade. All right, this comes as a set. It's AB2102D. And what is this made for? It's made to create crazy suction, all right, to lift up the blades of grass, get them cut and thrown into the bag. That's what it's made for. Uh, the use... You know, if you've missed cutting your lawn for a few days, your grass is kind of overgrown, well, don't worry about that. Throw your bag on, make sure your high lift blade is on, and this will, will cut up that grass and throw it into the bag and make you very, very happy. Pros on this, uh, strong suction, uh, lifts the grass up, cuts it and bags it very well. I would say the cons on this, it uses a lot more battery life than any blade itself. It is not good at all for mulching if you're not going to have a bag on. So be aware, your grass blade sides when you cut with this are going to be a lot larger. So really, really nice blade. Hey guys, if you're really enjoying this video, take a moment. Give us a thumbs up. Brooklyn and I would really appreciate it. Thank you. So here's our simple demonstration. We're just going to mow this strip here. We set both mowers on a five, which is three inches. One is going to bag with the high lift blade. The other one is going to mulch with the mulching blade. So three inches. We've got almost five inches of grass. Let me go ahead and show you our grass gauge. All right. So our grass gauge, you know, is showing about five inches of grass, as you can see there. So let's go ahead and do this, and then we'll show you. We'll take a look. I'm not sure if we're going to see anything amazing here, but I thought we would do a comparison real quick with a one strip. So we're going to start off 
using the Select Cut XP with the mulching blade, again we're set at three inches, which is setting number five, as the church bells ring. So let's go. Here we go. Okay, well, let's take a step back and uh, just see if we could take a look here. So on the left side, you've got mulching. On the right side, you've got bagging. And I could see a difference. So on the mulching side, you know, you've got mulch, right? Some of it could be dry grass mulch, but you definitely have just a little bit of mulch um, left on the lawn. Not a lot. Again, two blades cuts, you know, pretty decent, to be honest with you. So I don't see any mess here because, again, two blades cuts them so small, they're actually hard to see. Now, but I could see some. Now here on the high lift side, you know, I mean, I got one, I don't know where this came from, but I got one grass blade here. Again, dry, flies around very light. But from what I see, um, it looks like it did a really good job cleaning, you know, sucked it right up into the lawn, into the bag. You're talking about two inches of grass going right in. And, and keep in mind, the high lift blade, you know, you can cut three, four inches of grass if you had to and bag it. I mean, that's what it's made for. It's really made to do a cleanup. It's not made to mulch. It's not made to actually be your cutting blade. So, you know, simple demo. Again, real hard to tell, but wanted to show you just at least one example and I hope the explanation of all the blades really helped you. By the way, let's go ahead and take a look in the bag anyway. You know, since we did use the high lift blade to uh, clean up, you know, we took off two inches of grass. What's in there? Yeah, you know, we've got a little bit of grass. A little bit in the back there, a little bit in the front. A short strip of grass. It did its job. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and found the information helpful. If you did, give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps the channel. If you're not a subscriber, take a moment and subscribe. Join the family. And if you want, share our video as well. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Hey guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.